pass turn we we'll wipe their board <laughs> and how can you recover from this opponent i don't see no <laughs> way hello youtube all welcome to fine day today we are going to have a look at toxrel the corrosive in historic brawl this deck aims to win by playing a classic demir control with a little bit of ramp and utilizing this ramp to quickly ramp into the commander or any of the other big threats in the deck so again our commander costs seven mana so i thought okay let's go with some ramp in a classic demir control shell and then i was like okay i already have all this ramp why not play a higher than usual amount of finishers in the deck because toxrel while being a good finisher against creature matchups he's not that amazing against control matchups and that's also why you see specific anti-control cards like thought distortion in here the rest of the deck is just like the usual suspects, the like classic one drop suit. I uh, also play Dark Ritual in this deck, just so I can get an easy talk drill on turn four with just one ramp piece, or just any of the other cards basically. Because if you play uh, some of those on curve, these can be really, really devastating. Other than that, I think this is already it. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And let's go. We are ready to play against Exus. And if they are playing the Blood Avatar side, this matchup is really good for us. Um so yeah. Like you can play Exus in two different ways, just um play around the front side or just play a sacrifice heavy deck with uh, the intention of playing the backside, right? Okay, I will start on the island here. Just keeping up wash away. I mean, I could have played this tap so I wouldn't take two damage. But now it's too late, anyways. <clears throat> okay, um, yeah. Island, Arcade Signet. You go, opponent. I kind of hope that they like commit one drops to the board. Okay, Elite Spellbinder, I don't really mind that this much. I'm fine, I think they take the Yenny's expertise. But I don't think they like any of the cards in the sand anyways. Let's see. Better of acceptance, they take out our ramp. That's, I think, also a very reasonable thing to do. Um, yeah, let's pass the turn. Hold up Disallow or Wash Away. I could have held up Disallow and Wash Away, but I don't think they will. Like, if they play the Commander, or at, le at least the backside, then they sacrifice everything anyway, so... Yeah. But I, I have a feeling that they're playing around the front set of Extas here. Instead of the backside. Any land would be a great draw. Untapped land would be even better, obviously, because then we can just play Ladder of Acceptance. And then Tox Roll is just around the corner. Okay, top land, that's that's fine, I guess. That is fine. Okay. I don't think we want to kill the Spellbinder just yet. The reason why taking the Letter of Acceptance was also a good play is because now Yehani's Expertise doesn't have a rock to put into play with the wipe. So that also is not optimal for us. <clears throat> Bow Strider, fine. And I think I take this opportunity to just use Yehani's Expertise, right? Um, yeah, perfect. Expertise, putting into play the Celestis. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they sacrifice everything just to scry a bit. That's fine. 
The great thing is that they don't know about this Ugin. So, yeah, that's pretty good. The wall doesn't die. Um, it's sacrifice fodder, but at the same time, I don't really care too much. <clears throat> I mean, maybe they are playing around the backside of Exodus, but they haven't played it because they didn't want to run into the washaway and sacrificing their board during, like, while doing this. So I respect that decision as well. Like, I think that's actually a great, I like, way to play with the backside against. An opponent where you know they have a counter spell against the blood avatar. Okay. Okay, Extus. I will just go ahead and counter this, I think. Because if they play an instant or sorcery, then they can just bring something back to hand, just get value, and I don't want them to get value. They play Plark, Dean of Chaos, and I think I will just draw with Chemist's Insight to hit my land drop. Perfect. <clears throat> do I want to disallow this Plark, or do I uh, do I want to Blood Chief's Thirst the Plark, or do I want to hold up Disallow? I don't think I care enough about the activation that I want to kill Plark uh, right away. So I think that's fine. Next turn we can play Ugin. Minus. That's a great play. And I think that will already do it to be honest. Like I don't see how that, like, I mean, they're in black so they could have a bunch of removal. So I think we started on the tox roll, even if we draw land. Yeah, perfect. Let's draw a discard. <clears throat> I don't think I need the dark ritual anymore. And then just drop tox roll. I could have um, like kept the dark ritual and then just like dark ritual the tox roll again, or like. When it dies now, but I, I just don't feel like I need that. Banishing Light is what they revealed, sure. That is a blowout because I will now say no to this. Uh, decline. And then I'm planning of minusing Ugin when I draw a land and then Toxro comes into play immediately. And they can't really stop that. Unless my Ugin gets manatized, then this whole thing is absolutely atrocious for me. <clears throat> so maybe I just want to force around, like, really want to play around the mana tithe. Okay. Uh, I think I like going... I, th I think I start with consider here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Honestly, yeah, let's not put it into the graveyard and then just go letter of acceptance, cold steel heart. On black, blue, doesn't matter too much, I think, because I already have so much black. Clark enter uh, activates. Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Funny thing, these servos are colorless, so... The Ugin is uh, not as, as effective against them, but still, it's very, very effective. Um, sure. Um, yeah, next turn I can Ugin, minus three. Oh well, if I Ugin and then just talk through enters and these get minus anyway, so that's fine, right? So maybe it's just actually the best thing to minus two Ugin because then this still survives, but it dies to the Toxer as well. Okay, I minus five. I've changed my mind. <clears throat> if they have a bolt, Ugin dies. 
Weil der Schock irgendwie da ist. Oh. Okay. Ähm. Um. Yep. You tap all of these. And. Also don't you. Okay. Who can go? Minus five. And then the there are two of these remaining of these servos. And then I can blood shift first one of them, so Ugin still lives with one. Oh no, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they get minus Oh no, now I could have also just not blood shift first because it kind of depends. Um, I think I still just want to, like, if they are able to remove Tox when they hit five, uh, 5 to phase and then just use burn spells, I'm awfully close to dying. But now they only have one power on board, so even if they remove the Tox roll, the Ugin still lives. So I think the Blood Sheaf's first was pretty good there. Man. Uh, Runus Ultimatum. Interesting card. So, don't need you. And I just buffed their board, right? Ha! Huh. I just realized. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, oops, I guess. Yeah, oops, I guess. Also now, yeah, now they just kill me with Extus. I should have just kept up the d disdainful stroke. Well, well, well. Um. Hmm. Well, that was very smart. I mean, now they sacrifice three creatures, right? But I just, yeah. I, not keeping up the disdainful stroke was really really bad there for me because I'm dead next turn even to a removal spell and even if I draw a removal spell right um okay don't need you should have played that though uh, nope and we are dead man um interesting tech choices um let's go to the next one gg we are ready to play against cody and sure this is a fine hand i guess without blue oh that's the classic fine again right <laughs> um yeah that should have been a mulligan i guess that's fine that's fine yeah, i draw the blue anyway see you guys it's absolutely fine Agonizing remorse you. What do you have here? That seems like a storm list. Um that's the case. Hmm. Against Cody's storm, I think I wanna exile the vengeance. So they don't copy their treasure effects. <clears throat> Yep, the rest, sure. You can take... Oh no, the big problem here is that they should take the Seagate Restoration to put me off blue here. Yeah, nice. Nicely done, opponent. Um, I guess that was my bad, like I should have bolted myself for that land. Because Cody does play just a ton of um, cards like that, right? Um... Yeah, the rest and all of those are really good in Cody. Okay, um, the question is, and I think I want to do that, where I go squatter myself. Let's see what I draw first. Yeah, I 
I kind of want to ghost port myself here. Um, so... I mean, before they do that... Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Because I don't want to run into a Supreme Ball. Okay. Perfect. Uh, which one do I don't need? Probably the cast Locked Wayne. So, Ghost Quarter myself. Yep. Get a blue. Use that mana to Thirst. Uh, yep. Discard Hedron Archive. Now I have the Baneful Mastery up for the Cody again. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, well... Yep, Murderous Rider, sure. <clears throat> Not drawing lands is kind of meh, but I think we're doing fine. Thing is just, honestly, like them just drawing this many cards, they eventually just storm off and win, right? <clears throat> oh, perfect. Would you look at that? Uh, let's uh, check for traps, so to speak. And they probably counter this with the Supreme Will. Yeah, that's fine. Um. I think I want to keep up the Disdainful Stroke. Mm, I probably have to get the blue here. Uh, just because I have so many blue cards. Uh, don't... kind of just want to land to be honest. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, perfect. And just Baleful Mastery, I don't even give them the card. Yep, seems good. If we draw an untapped land, Tox Rill is really good. And with really do good, I mean just like something big and dumb to kill them. Yep, they reshaped their full hand. Again, like everything indicating towards the storm list here. And taking the increasing vengeance so they can't copy their treasure effect is really important. Okay, um, I feel like I just want to... Play Memory Deluge, I guess? Yep. No? Huh. Hmm, interesting. Like this comes is too slow as well as this. No oh, blue. I really wanted blue, you know, guys. Would have been nice. But oh well. Now they know the cat's out of the bag. I don't have anything for the turn, so I hope that I just don't die here. Okay, blue again. Interesting. Sure, that's fine. Wasn't really expecting an organ here. Um, if I do this, right? Still hold up Supreme Ball. I like it. And we start exiling stuff from their graveyard, which is amazing. So, if they play Underworld Breach, which card do I don't want them to get? So either the duress or the seeded turtles. Like if they go for an underworld breach now, they just like double the res, right? Which is really devastating. The alternative to that is seeded truth is the most card advantage. Okay. Press of iteration, sure. My greatest creation. And I'm probably just going to grab a card of the Supreme Bull in the end step. Yep. 
Um, I think I like the Palaka Predation. Uh, let's see what's up. Gimme, give gimme, give opponent. Uh, do I just want to counter that? Draw four cards. That's just basically pure card advantage, right? How much do they do you cost? I think I just want a mystical dispute that. Maybe they don't even have anything like that in the Okay. They do have a bunch of things here. Um Magma Opus. Four damage. Hmm. I feel like Soul Shatter is not that amazing against me. Yeah, just like Emiria's Call seems like the best idea to take here. It's a weird deck. Um, yep. That happens. <clears throat> That's fine. Okay. The card that I obviously... Uh, obviously after is something like an Age of Treasury. Would be pretty nice. Um, I think I have to just draw a bunch of cards here. Oh! Oh, isn't that inconvenient? Not being able to play that. Weird. Okay! Oh, that's, that's amazing for us. Because, like, I think that's okay. Um, I know it's not okay, like, draw seven, right? But, like, it's mostly lands anyways. Okay, so they have seven non-lands, basically. Seagate, sure. Counter that. Do you have a counter against the counter? No, you don't. Okay, thought. Man! Okay, my whole... That was just unlucky. That was really unlucky because that was the one card I was hoping that just would keep me back into the game. What is this list? I'm confused. Is this just like classic? Is this was what people with Cody built? Anyways, um, this is going to be slow and grindy. Let me tell you that. Memory Deluge. Going a bunch of cards deep here. Hole Breaker seems really good. And it's either Salundi Vision or Midnight Clock. At least I feel that way. It may be a Swan Song to protect the Hole Breaker, but like. Like the Midnight Clock is just gives me something to do here, doesn't it? Honestly, drown in the lock. Um, reason being that we know they have a soul cheddar in hand. And if we bounce the soul cheddar, they just do it again, so. Hour of Promise gets the Field of the Dead. And honestly, fine with that. Toxra is really good against Field. Mates Repulse only hits. Mindstone, and that's fine. I think I'm kind of fine if um Wait, so they destroy Mindstone, then I have three nine nine mana. Yeah, perfect. Nine mana is just lovely. Okay, field. And then the other field. Sure. I think I like going with the Toxrith here. Really helps me shrink those zombies. Yep, pass turn. And Toxril. What are you gonna do, opponent? If they counter it, that would be awful, but I think they just soul shatter it. And then I just drown in the locket. Yep, Toxril. 
And counter spell. Uh, counter turret spell. You. If they have a counter spell on their own, that would be awful, but I think they would have just counter toxical. Tox no, not necessarily, really. Not necessarily. Okay, what are they doing? Oh, magma. Yeah, true. Uh, magma opus. Dealing damage to face. I take 7. 11 in total. Yeah. Oh. No, that's arguably better. Because if they get a removal spell here, I am extremely done for. Because now they can magma opus as well, right? Hmm. What a close game. Ooh. Yeah, and that does it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that was a really cool and grindy game there. We are ready to play against Cody Vociferous Codex. And... This the hand doesn't have any black in it. Mm. Put goes first. Sure, I, I kind of like the sludge monster against Cody. I think that annoys them a bunch. Um, let's go with... Uh, uh -huh. This island. Then Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Mindstone. Then they play Cody. I follow it up with... Uh, just play for mastery, or could I? I could also just go ladder and then student cost the mastery. But I think I will just go ahead and not let them draw the card. Yeah, seems reasonable. Next turn, I'm just going to play my tap land. I mean, this Castle Ventress seems also like a nice play. But no, uh, I like, I th yeah, I think Tapland would be the best choice because I can hold a Mystical Dispute and can play the ladder. Um, I think I will go ahead and counter this. I'm not sure. Yeah, if I counter this, um, I can, like, they will just go with Cody and I will go with Sludge Monster. I think that's good. Uh, Jurari disruption. I don't think I need it right now. <clears throat> Mythos. And they copy the letter. I respect that play. Sure, we just dropped Toxrel. Big dumb thing goes. Brr. As they like to say. What will they do? What will they do? Shrewd negotiation. <laughs> negotiation. Oh, nice. Um, I think I will go ahead and uh, kill my own commander, I guess. Um, let's one black, black, and then go with this. Seems good. Oh, this is Cody Steelger stuff, right? I think it is. Oh no, they want to give me the Cody. That's... Yeah, yeah, basically they want to give me the Cody. But I'm not the kind of deck that gets affected by that too much, I think. So... Castle Ventress. Um... I have enough mana to hold up Wash Away and have, play the Sludge Monster. So I think I will go ahead and do that. I've, I still have a couple of mana rocks that I can't cash in. So... Yeah, I will hold up this Ladder of Acceptance. In case I don't counter, I can just draw a card off of it. <clears throat> yep. I think they swap, right? Oh no, they just eat to extinction. 
honestly, nah. Nah, opponent, I think your Cody is just fine as is. Search for Eskanta. Opponent did it well. Search for Eskanta was definitely the card to counter here. Sequence it correctly. Um. Okay, swing in. And... We could Thought Distortion them. Or we could just wait one turn. I think doing it now is pretty safe though. Because that also prevents the flipping of the Escanta in the future. Yep, opponent is empty handed, so that's really good for us. Yeah, command stand game, Salomgrass command. Yeah, perfect, that's really good for us. Yep, and we draw a card of the letter here. Beautiful. Ooh, nice. That's a good card. We swing in. And I think I will just play Toxrill to put on the pressure. Could also just canvas this inside, hold up, wash away. Seems decent. Mm. Yeah, I think pressure. Like this way, they have. I present a 12 power on board. They die in two turns if they don't do anything. Okay. Search, search for Escanta. Putting a land into the graveyard doesn't seem too helpful. Our runs above me is like. The birds immediately die. Well, funnily enough, they don't immediately die just because. I put sludge counters onto the 1-1s, one then they are 2-2s two because of the sludge monster, and then... Yeah. Yeah, that drove me. Oh, I got two sludges. Nice. Um, Get in there, and then swing with the full team. Yep. And that's GG. They can't really recover from this while I hold up counter spell up. We are ready to play against Catilda on her prime. And yeah, this is nutty. Oh my god, this is so evil. Yep. I'm sorry, opponent, but you know what? I'm actually not. Yep, play you tapped. Pass turn and then just wash away the commander. Okay, Ranger class, that's fine. So we don't wash away the commander. Um, sure, pass turn. I mean, what do you expect me to do, opponent, huh? Not counter your commander now? Oop, um, honestly, I just wanna kill this. Maybe so when No, this is fine. This can resolve because What ends up happening is I'm probably just going to Baleful mastery this now without them drawing a card uh, Or do I even because just play Toxel, right? And then everything gets minus, so they lose most of the cards from this. <clears throat> and then this is a 1 1. It's risky, but I, it's actually not that risky, especially because I have an Ugin backup. It's greedy, that that's what this is, right? But I think I can just like ignore Torrents for now. Sure. Yep. They have two more mana up. Metallic Mimic, sure, and that won't help them too much here. Human, and we just Dark Ritual Toxrill into the Conceit, watch this. Dark Ritual, Toxrill, pass turn, we wipe their board. <laughs> and how can you recover from this opponent? I don't see a <laughs> way. Wow, this is 
like the previous matchups have been like very controlled heavy, but if you like go against any go white strategy, Toxroth is just insane. Yeah, this is like the strength of the commander, right? Okay, it's fine. Move my commander to the command zone. If they have another land drop, they get another human, but like. Oh, I will just uh, fail for mastery this, okay. Okay, they got one more human. Uh, we will take the double lock here. We just deny them all the creatures. Wait, odd, odd? Yeah, I'm sorry. But you know what, I'm not. Okay, extinction event happening. Swing. Pass turn. We hold a Baleful Mastery or we hold a Wash Away. We have Ash of Nightmare Muse as a play next turn. I feel really safe here. <clears throat> Sugarda, sure. Champion of Light. Whatever. And. Sure, Pony, you can even draw a card. Because I want to be a mana version with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because now I just go... Ooh, that's also tempting. But yeah, I, now I just go Ash of Nightmare, Muse, Uptick, and hold up Wash Away, right? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, whatever. Thalia, whatever. I don't really care. Um... Yeah, Sludge Monster onto the Thalia, making it so the Thalia's ability is gone. Um, and then, again, hold up the Wash Away while we proceed to win on the board with Ashiok. No, opponent, I'm sorry. Counterspell, Wash Away. Get washed away. And this is getting more and more problematic for the opponent. Uh, what do you have here? Um, I think I will just take the draw engine. Wait, so Sarah's emissary doesn't even come down next turn. Okay. They, I checked for traps. <laughs> there were none. GG. We are done with the games. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And this was Talk Thrill, the Corrosive and Historic Brawl. As you can see from the games, uh, the control matchups are like okay. Um, like Thought Distortion came in really handy that one game. Like basically just tech against control. And then Tox Roll is just an absolute pushover against the like go wide decks. It, Katilda, the last game, was a perfect example of this, where just Toxrod alone just dominated the whole board and just allowed me to be so greedy with my plays because I knew as soon Toxrod comes down, they have nothing. And that was just the case. Um, so, yeah, he, I think he's a great commander if you run into a lot of creature matchups. Like, he's just really good against creatures, especially white weenie decks, right? Uh, in the control mirror, you could just swap the commander for Ashok, like Ashok is likely a better commander in control, uh, like against control if you just want to have Demir. And to be perfectly honest, I think you can just like swap out Ashok, talks roll, like just swap these two and play, just play the rest of the deck as is. Like they mostly want to do the same things, right? So why not try it? Um, the Sludge Monster is obviously a bit specific to Toxrill, but other than that, yeah, you can just swap them. As for budget, uh, the big thing, this is what you want. These, uh, the, th the cheap interaction is also really, really good. Um, you can go w uh, get away with a little bit less. Maybe you don't need all the board wipes, but because again, Toxrill has uh, the inherent ability of wiping the board, but he's not very fast with that, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you tomorrow.